Welcome to Irish Illustrated at irishillustrated.com. I'm Kevin Sinclair, and uh, we're going to be talking about a few of the more notable offers among this uh, big uh, influx of scholarship offers that went out over the last week. Um, we're going to talk, talk about two linebackers, starting with uh, Nuefe Tui Halamaka. Not easy to say. Uh, everyone calls him Junior for that reason out, in, out west, I'm told. And, um, you know, off the hop, he has some interesting connections to Notre Dame. He's trained with uh, incoming uh, cornerback uh, Chance Tucker for years uh, in the Los Angeles area. And um, also um, just sort of grew up watching a lot of uh, Notre Dame football. Told me he was a big Manti Teo fan growing up. Uh, played in an all-star game uh, on the same team as Jack Nickel, tight end commit in the 2022 class. Uh, but, you know, he's a top 100 linebacker for a reason, um, was committed to USC before Notre Dame offered. Um, he spoke with Irish Illustrated, um, talked a lot about sort of his interest in Notre Dame, uh, and then about 24 hours later, decommitted from USC. So Notre Dame definitely has a shot, um, but let's have a look at what he does well on the football field. Now we're going to look at this Mike Linebacker's inside rush ability. Now, very quick and explosive coming downhill, shooting uh, A and B gap here. Uh, a great example of that. Uh, again, uh, pinned back towards their, goal, their own goal line. Um, this is a dangerous linebacker on the blitz inside. Um, and when he gets you in his crosshair, is a very, very difficult to shake this linebacker. Now, here is a bit of a off tackle carry. He sifts through the garbage, uh, as, as you can see. Um, a really good sort of takedown artist, if you will. Now, on uh, another inside blitz here, watch him keep his inside shoulder free. Uh, keeping that arm free, so as they try to bounce outside his path, um, he's able to close and make the tackle. So uh, really, really uh, effective between the tackles. But as you can see here, um, in, in pass defense, breaking up a pass, um, and again here attacking inside, though, this is where he's really effective, is really coming downhill, attacking between the tackles. Um, you know, very long, six foot two, uh, large, thick built linebacker, really tough to evade this guy. Now, here he is when they bounce outside, still able uh, with that sort of long range, with long arms, and uh, able to make the tackle when uh, the ball bounces outside the hashes. And here, um, sort of an outside pitch um, in, in pursuit here looks pretty sharp. So that was uh, Junior Tui Halamaka's uh, sophomore film from over a year ago. He's been training very hard over the offseason. We see how well he attacks between the tackles, um, sort of coming downhill in that phone booth style. Now, what he's told me he was training really hard over the offseason was his change of direction, his agility uh, to sort of attack outside the uh, hashes to the perimeter, uh, and just his lateral quickness. So I'm really impressed with uh, him overall. I'm really excited to see uh, how he sort of competes and performs as a junior so next up we're going to talk about another four-star linebacker i'm very impressed with and six foot four 220 pound lander barton uh from utah let's have a look now compared to tui halamaka lander barton's more of a buck linebacker than notre dame defense really good as you can see here and uh, attacking sort of that between the guard and tackle uh inside blitz very very quick at six four 220 um really good at attacking the quarterback edge rush in between that b B and C gaps there. Now here attacking uh, in pass coverage, um, that length and speed, the ability to close on receivers very quickly and either stopping receivers dead in their tracks or forcing uh, an incompletion. Uh, you see that time and time again when you look through and sift through his highlights. You can sort of see here again, um, playing sort of zone coverage, uh, able to, to really close on those receivers quickly and end the play. Um, that's something I really like about his game at linebacker. But again, this is a guy I'm certain could play tight end on the power five level. Um, really says a lot about his athleticism and the way he can go up and get the football and then his toughness after the catch. You can sort of see here his ability to sort of twist and turn and contort to catch footballs, um, often goes up for balls in the red zone. Um, you know, really effective receiver uh, at the tight end position. And, and certainly that toughness that we see at linebacker, um, a guy who can, you know, serve serve any offense well, offense well as uh, a blocker in line and, and in space. But again, his ability, here's another catch along the sideline uh, as a tight end really speaks to his athleticism um, that would really uh, work well at the linebacker position. Here he is. He actually has picked up a lot of interceptions through his career in high school, and here he is with another. Um, and then you can see sort of his speed and those long strides at six foot four, 220 pounds, uh, returning into the end zone. And again, just to sort of cap it off and show of his athleticism again, on um, the way he can go up and catch the football, um, really good athlete here. 
So that wraps up this breakdown of uh, notable offers recently. A couple of really impressive linebackers. I, uh, I'm really impressed with um, Tui Halamaka as a uh, Mike linebacker prospect specifically. And then Lander Barton as sort of a buck linebacker. Could also see him uh, possibly playing possibly playing Rover with that speed and range of his. But um, he's really good at attacking between the tackles as well. I could see him in that buck role. But uh, that's it. Thanks for tuning in to Irish Illustrated at irishillustrated.com.